So you're thinking about moving to Sunnyvale, Texas, but you're trying to figure out, okay, how far is it from Dallas? How far from the airport, among other things, right? Well, in this video, I'm going to take you around Sunnyvale on the map. That way it can provide a little bit of perspective on where you are in relationship to Dallas and everything else around you. And if you watch our vlog tour through the streets of Sunnyvale, then this will provide some additional context on that video as well. And we're getting into it right now. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for the most thorough deep dive into all things Dallas, Texas, well, this is the channel that helps you do that. So I invite you to subscribe down below. Make sure you tap the bell for notifications so that you can stay up to date on the current market here in Dallas, Texas. We drop new videos every single week. My name is Jimmy Webb Jr. I'm a local real estate agent born and raised here and we're getting tons of calls and emails every single day from people just like you who are ready to make that move here in Dallas and we absolutely love it. So if you are thinking about buying or selling here in the Dallas area, you got to reach out, right? Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or jump on our calendar if you want to jump straight to a Zoom call with us. Of course, that's our favorite, but hey, whatever is easiest for you you know we've got you back when making a smooth move here in Dallas, Texas or in Sunnyvale like we're talking about today. So without further ado, let's jump into my computer and I'll take you on a full map tour of Sunnyvale, Texas. All right, welcome to Sunnyvale, Texas, this highlighted area right here. So as always, we're gonna zoom out and show you kind of where you are in relationship to everything here. So uh, first of all, all right, so the way that you're gonna get into Dallas is primarily through Highway 80. So Highway 80 runs right through here, right? And it meets up with I-30, which will take you right into Dallas. And I will say that this is arguably the best uh, entrance into Dallas as far as, you know, the looking at the skyline uh, is concerned. So it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good look right there coming in from the east side right here, okay? So uh, yeah, only about uh, 25 minutes to get uh, into downtown Dallas from uh, Sunnyvale right there. And then if you wanna get over to the airport, you know, that's one of the uh, one of the cons I'd say about Sunnyvale is, you know, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit further away from, uh, from the airport over here. So, you know, you would just continue through Dallas uh, on 35 to 114 and get uh, on the north entrance right there. Uh, or you could take 183 to the south entrance right there. Either way, it's gonna be about the same, uh, which will take you from Sunnyvale. It'll, it'll take you about 45 minutes to get over there all the way. Now, uh, of course, having, uh, we're very uh, blessed to have this, uh, you know, international airport, a major airport hub as far as the entire country is concerned. I mean, uh, what that's going to mean for us is, I mean, a lot of nonstop flights, right? So we don't have to go through, like a lot of Austin flights have to go through Dallas, you know, to get to their final destination, right? We can, we can go literally anywhere uh, pretty much uh, on a nonstop flight, which is nice. And then also because we're so centrally located as far as the country is concerned, you know, we can uh, save a little bit on the, uh, on, the, on the flights. You're gonna have a little bit cheaper airfares as well because you're not having to go cross country and, and things like that, right? So uh, definitely a, a perk of living right, uh, right here in the DFW Metroplex with that airport right there. Now, if you want to uh, catch a cowboy game. That's going to be over here in Arlington. Okay, so uh, actually here we'll we'll take this off and then I'll show you what's going on over here. So you know if you're if you're a cowboy fan or or if you want to go check out you know Jerry World right here whenever maybe your team comes into town. Uh, it is quite a structure by the way, so you definitely got to check it out at some point. But uh, yeah, it's going to be about 45 minutes away, similar uh, in distance uh, to the airport. Uh, from Sunnyvale over there, but uh, yeah, so you've got AT&T Stadium right there, and then you also have, we have the, the new Globe Life Field. This is where the Texas Rangers play, so I'll show you the old one, okay? It, it's recently been renamed to Choctaw Stadium, but uh, yeah, this was the old ballpark where, you know, there was no roof, and you got to remember, right, it, it, baseball is played in the summer, and we're in Texas, okay? <laughs> so, 
you know, uh, not exactly the, the most ideal conditions uh, to maybe, maybe play baseball, right? And so uh, we finally got the roof down here and we're super pumped about it, right? Because uh, no longer do we have to bake in the sun like lobsters, just trying to catch a ball game in the summertime, you know? So um, I was actually, uh, uh, you know, able to go to uh, opening day at Globe Life Field and it is absolutely gorgeous on the inside, absolutely beautiful uh, on the inside. So you got to check this stadium out uh, at some point uh, um, uh, while you're here. Now, the other thing worth mentioning here is Texas Live. So this is a collection of bars just all kind of continuously flowing in and out of each other, right? So uh, here, let's see. They always change the pictures in here, it seems like every week. So let me see if I can show you a good, yeah. So here's kind of that main room, right? So you have the TVs on this side and then you have the seating and then some, some bars over here. You have a second level as well. And you've got some seating up here as well. So it, it's really just a cool place to come hang out. If you're not gonna be inside the stadium, but you really wanna be you know, in that, in that atmosphere, then uh, you can go hang out at Texas Live, okay? So that's what's going on over there in Arlington. Of course, you got Six Flags as well over here. So if you like your roller coasters, you know, uh, the, this is the best, you know, theme park in Texas. I'll tell you that. Maybe the country, I don't know. But, uh, uh, and then of course, if you wanna catch a, a Mavs game or a Stars game, I, in my personal opinion, the Stars games are the best atmosphere in Dallas, okay? So that'll be right here at the uh, American Airlines Center here in Victory Park uh, near downtown, right there. So uh, we, are, we already covered, uh, you know, 25 minutes to get over into downtown over here. So let's get over to Sunnyvale now. Let's, uh, let's give you some numbers here real quick. So right now the population is only 6,000. Okay. So uh, I do see that growing uh, here uh, over the next decade. Uh, certainly um, there's definitely a lot of new construction going up uh, in Sunnyvale. Okay. But listen, Sunnyvale is one of those places though, you know, they have no desire to become a, a, a big city, right? They, um, you know, they, they really like to keep that kind of small town feel. Um, and uh, that's kind of the, the vibe in Sunnyvale. But, you know, I mean, it's a great location. Obviously, you're, you're close to uh, the lake right here as well. And so, I mean, it's a, it's a really cool location. Um, but, uh, yeah, they really want to keep it, uh, keep, keep that atmosphere, keep that vibe, you know, that small town feel out here for sure. Okay, uh, median home value uh, as of right now is 380. Okay, uh, can't can't really write here today apparently, but uh, 380,000 is that median home value. You know, listen, I, I think a lot of that new construction is really, uh, uh, you know, bumping that number up. And uh, but 91% of residents in Sunnyvale own their home, so definitely a place where you know you, you're going to uh, get some really good schools. Uh, I believe is is the number 12th ranked uh, best school district in DFW, right? And so, um, yeah, you've got some steep competition for schools uh, here in DFW. So, yeah, Sunnyvale is, is right up there uh, as far as good schools go. And then median income in Sunnyvale is is 132, 132,000, you know, a year. So, uh, yeah, I mean, people are doing fairly well for themselves out there uh, in Sunnyvale. And uh, so just so you kind of know what to expect uh, on that side, okay? So, well, now you can already see where Sunnyvale High School is, okay? So uh, yeah, it's right there in the middle off of uh, Collins and basically trip north of, north of Trip Road right there. And so, uh, yeah, that's gonna be, uh, you know, the, the main high school, of course, right there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I mean, you'll have, you know, elementary schools sprinkled throughout middle schools as well but uh yeah hey if you like what we're talking about so far hey please tap that thumbs up button down below it would mean the world to us if you did that thank you so much and make sure you are subscribed as well i'm telling you you don't want to miss the next video that we drop so uh, make sure you tap the bell for notifications as well okay now uh getting back into it here let's talk about uh, kind of some of the the main intersections and kind of show you where some of the main things are, right? So, uh, you know, of course you're gonna have, Beltline is pretty much gonna be the, uh, um, the 
uh, boundary over here on the west side, okay? And then, uh, of course, you have Highway 80 will go through it right here. So this is that Samuel Farm, by the way, that I showed you in the vlog, uh, which definitely, uh, if you haven't watched the vlog, you'll have to watch that. Uh, after this and I say after uh, we finish up here. Uh, we're almost done here though I'm just gonna show you around a little bit show you where kind of the main things are of course You have the hospital right there off of Collins and then yeah It's kind of a long stretch till you get to you know Lawson is kind of that next uh, major street off of off of 80 over here Okay, so yeah, th there's a lot to be developed. I think still out here, you know I mean you can find some homes with some with some acreage uh, but again, you've got some of that uh, new construction really sprouting up uh, over here as well. Okay, so uh, yeah, so you've got the, the hospital right there. A, lo a lot of, yeah, you can see the plants, the warehouses are going to be, you know, over here on this side. Uh, you've got the, the local airport right there down here. Yeah, most of Sunnyvale is up on the north side of, of Highway 80, I will say. Um, and then, yeah, so we covered the north and south roads, but uh, yeah, so going here, you've got Town East Boulevard, which is gonna be a big one, and then Barnes Ridge up here on the north side. Now, Town East Boulevard will run into Town East Mall. So this is gonna be the major shopping center for you uh, out here in Sunnyvale uh, and creeping over here into Mesquite. This is technically Mesquite over here. And so, you know, Town East Mall is a, a, a good sized mall. Not the best mall in Dallas by any, by any standards, but uh, you know, you do have everything that you need. Um, you know, this mall isn't going out of business or anything anytime soon. So um, you've got a lot uh, going on, you know, in here. Um, you know, you've got uh, uh, your, your main kind of uh, standard uh, uh, mall stores out here. And then, you know, on the outskirts, you've got your Target over here as well, that's very important, right? Uh, or Target, should I, shall I say? Uh, Target. You've got uh, your Sprouts, which is a grocery store over here. Um, your uh, your boot barn, if you need some cowboy boots, right? Uh, and then you've got some of your big box stores on this side of the highway. And then, uh, yeah, and then, where's the, Wa the Walmart's right here, yeah. So this is, this might be between Walmart. So it, when we're talking grocery stores, okay? So you've got Sprouts here, you've got the Walmart Supercenter right here, and then on this side you'll have your Kroger is up here somewhere, yeah, right here. Okay, so you've got your Kroger uh, on the north side right here. So now, look, of course, um, you've got Sprouts, none of which are actually inside of Sunnyvale, but, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of the residential is happening right here, right around the high school, right? So. You just come over to the Beltline right here, get get to get to the Walmart right there, or take Town East, get over to Sprouts, and uh, there's a, there's so much stuff over here. Uh, or you can go north and get to, get your Kroger uh, up here. Okay, so that's kind of what's going on um, on on that side of things. Let's see, did I miss anything in here that's uh, maybe uh, maybe super important? Oh yeah, there's another Kroger over here. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So there's, uh, you just go, go across uh, 635, and uh, you've got that uh, uh, over there as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's all kind of the major uh, things that you need to know about. I mean, basically, you've got this is all residential in here right now. Um, you know, you do have, you do have a, a couple of, of stretches where, yeah, Collins is all. Where, where was the, um, it was, I think it was, where was that, uh, oh, it was here. Yeah, so off of Beltline you have, yeah, like the golf, well, the golf center is just a, a driving range, but um, you've got some, uh, you know, just some, a little bit of more commercial uh, off, of, off of Beltline here. But uh, yeah, I mean, really your main, your main shopping areas are gonna be around Town East Mall. You got the Walmart at 80 and Beltline, and then you've got the uh, the Kroger up here off of 30 and Beltline, okay? So, um, yeah, that's kind of the main idea of what's going on here in Sunnyvale. Now, of course, uh, we always like to show you what, uh, what you're kind of bordering out here. So, 
let's show you. So you've got Mesquite over here to the west. All right, you've got Forney over here, which is another, it's kind of similar to Sunnyvale is Forney uh, right there. So we've got a video coming out there uh, here pretty soon. You've got Rockwall and Heath. I kind of throw those together in the Rockwall uh, vlog if you want to check that side out. You got some beautiful sunsets coming in, you know, because uh, the sun, of course, sets on this side, right? And so let me draw my perfect little sun over here. And so in the evening, right, it, it just it bounces off the water right here, and, and you can see it uh, from this side, and it's just beautiful uh, on that side, right? And so uh, they're also building the uh, uh, the marina right here. That's the uh, uh, Sapphire Bay Resort right there on this little peninsula right here. And so uh, that's going to be completed in 2023. And that'll be a major, major attraction uh, right there. So um, yeah, definitely. Uh, if you get in before that, uh, yeah, that might be a good thing right there. So um, excited to see the completion of that over the next couple of years here. Okay. So uh, yeah, let's see. Did I did I miss anything? Of course. Um, yeah, you've got uh, uh, Garland up here. You've got Lake Highlands. Uh, then you've got uh, you know Lakewood will be on this side. But we're get we're getting kind of far. We're getting into Dallas quite a bit over here. Uh, and then but this side will be um, uh, yeah. You'll have the Arboretum on this side. Yeah, I mean uh, it, as far as if you're looking at uh, private school, by the way, you might check out Bishop Lynch over here. That might be the closest uh, to you. Uh, that's uh, um, that has a, a great reputation over here. Honestly, I'm not sure of any private schools on this side of things over here. So, um, yeah, I think uh, yeah, Bishop Lynch would be the one that would service you the best on this side. Okay, so, all right, well. Yeah, I think uh, that'll do it here for us. So, uh, hey, if, if Sunnyvale is where you want to be, of course, you got to reach out, right? Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or jump on our calendar if you want to jump straight to a Zoom call with us. Of course, that's our favorite, but hey, whatever is easiest for you, you know we've got your back when making a smooth move out here to Dallas or Sunnyvale, of course. And uh, hey, if you found value from this, please tap that like button down below. It would mean the world to us if you did that. Thank you so much. And uh, make sure you're subscribed as well while you're down there. And hey, if you want to continue your research here, I want to invite you tap on the Dallas, Texas living name down below. And that'll take you to our main channel page where you can use the search bar on that page to look up whatever it is that you're interested in. Maybe it's a specific topic about Dallas or a specific area that you're really keen on and want to learn more about. Uh, odds are we've covered it already. Uh, but if I haven't just yet, then leave me a comment down below. I respond to everybody, uh, every every comment, by the way. So uh, let me know what's on your mind and happy to, you know, bump up the priority based on uh, the demand that you guys want. This, this is for you guys, right? I want to put out uh, whatever you guys want. Okay, so let me know what's on your mind. But if you don't know where to go from here, then you should see some videos popping up on the end screen right now that can definitely point you in the right direction. Of course, uh, we do a ton of different styles of videos on this channel. So uh, really, whatever it is uh, that you're that you're looking for, odds are we've got it. But uh, whichever one is popping out to you right now, make sure you click on that. And until the next video, I'll see you around town.